Now it's time to remove the hatch and cover it up with sheet metal. And then later on I'm gonna cut out a hole for the vent fan because the vent fan hole is I think 14 by 14 inches and this is like two feet wide so I need to cover that up. I'm gonna have to cut a few of these screws off. They stripped. And now I'm gonna try the oscillating tool and see how that works. Let me try the chisel. Oh yeah. Alright. Oh yeah. Bye. Don't need it anymore. It was already cracked anyway, so I couldn't even sell it. Okay. Now it's cleanup time. these screws that I cut off I'm gonna use vice grips okay so remove the screws I had to cut one off actually here because it couldn't unscrew it um, so anyway I removed uh, as much of this uh, asphalt as I could but the problem now I have is these rivets right they're right on the edge there and I don't want to remove them. These are solid rivets. They're into the head channels. But I need to put the sheet metal there for the to cover this up. So what do I do? Uh, I think I'm just gonna put the sheet metal over the rivets, just like the hatch was over the rivets, right? And I'm just gonna come up to here somewhere with sheet metal, and then make my own rivets over here and the rivets are gonna kind of pull the sheet metal down and I'm gonna put a lot of seal in there so that will be covered I think that's the, that's the best method otherwise I would have to remove all these rivets and I don't want to do that so now I uh, just figured out how figured out the dimensions of the sheet metal to delete the hatch so basically there is a hat channel right here the head channel is this wide so I'm gonna try to put a rivets in there so it rivets into the hat channel into that lip of the hat channel so I'm gonna cut the sheet metal about here it's gonna end right there so I can rivet it over here and still have room to put sealant to cover it up and then over here because I'm gonna have one of the uh, uni struts for the solar panels is gonna be here so I, I measured so the sheet metal comes up up to it instead of you know going too long and then I had this being over it and kind of tilting the unistrut so it needs to end right there so I figured out these dimensions it should be 28 three quarters and 29 and a quarter 29 and a quarter this way 28 three quarters this way and over here I also have these pieces this cross pieces of right there and I want to rivet into them they're kind of moving right now because they're only held by one screw on each side so I'm gonna actually add another screw here on each side so it kind of fixes it and keeps it steady so the sheet metal can then uh, grab onto it same thing on this side I have the cross piece here 
I'm gonna do the same thing as on the other side. I found some self-tapping screws in the basement, so I'm gonna use that over here. Of course, make sure, making sure before that that this is lined correct, lined up correctly. Okay, one more left. I already did the other side. Nice. There we go. Oh yeah, that's good. I got some uh, 18 gauge galvanized steel that I used on the roof raised. That was a leftover, and I'm gonna use that for the hatch. Okay, so I lined it up where I want it. So I'm gonna just mark. So now I gotta figure out where to put the rivet. I don't want it to be too close to this rivet, those rivets. So I'm gonna do, I know the next rivet is gonna be somewhere over here. So I'm gonna try to do it in between. Okay, about right here. That will give me enough mm. let's say right here so I just have to draw a line straight there let's draw the lines and just marking where I'm gonna drill I'm doing three inches and an eighth now I'm just gonna center punch each drill hole and I'm just using a random screw can't find the center punch tool so this works just fine and I'll just drill the holes with a drill press so I don't have to waste my energy doing it by hand and then I'm gonna use those holes as the guides to drill into the bus deeper the, those holes. I'm using a bigger drill bit. All right, everything is lined up. I actually moved a little bit now. So line it up. I put some blocks here for weights. So I'm gonna do from middle out and that, and that way. I got a little oil here to dab the drill bit into because that helps keep it cool and not uh, get dull quickly. Alright. It looks like it did hit the hat channel. Good. So now I got these clicos. I'll post the link. They're made for quarter inch uh, holes and drill drills and my rivets are quarter inch too just want to mention when you go from middle out and then down or up oh well, you know you just gotta you just gotta start from middle out and then on the sides if you do that method it stretches the sheet metal correctly and it doesn't make it oil can and stuff like that that's why I use what I the, that method I used on the roof raise and my sheet metal is not oil canning at all <laughs> So I finished this row, so now I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna alternate left and right, left and right. Now I'm gonna continue the rest. And when I come to here, I'll stop at this one and this one. 
and I won't do these in the corners. I'm gonna start from the middle and then out again till I get the corner one. And then make sure the sheet metal stretches fully. Now I came to the other side and I'm gonna do from middle, left and right. All the holes are drilled. Now I wanna clean up and the whole surface from all these metal flakes. So I'm just gonna use the air compressor. All right, now that everything is clean, I'm gonna apply the sealant and I'm doing it on the outside of the rivets. This one is gonna be the one I have to put more on because it's gonna be raised because of all those existing solid rivets there. Now I gotta put the window delete and I gotta make sure I try to line everything up right away. Okay, that's looking good. I'm putting the rivets in and riveting the same way I was drilling and putting clicos in. All right, let me get this, my little tube. Nice. That's what I want. Now we can start riveting. I'm gonna only do once and then I'm gonna go around, finish them all, and then the second round I'm gonna do it again so it it cuts this uh, piece off mandrel or whatever this is. I don't know, this part that's sticking. You see how it pulls it in? That's what I want. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna go and just do another round to remove these. All right, just spreading some sealant here. I did it on all the sides. Just gotta touch it up. This side is the one that's raised the most. Okay. And this is not a you know not that pretty but this is on the top of the bus so you know who cares. Okay, that's looking good. Now I'm gonna basically cut a hole here when this all dries for the van fan.